Yo, vlog one. Just something that came to mind. You know, I was, I was looking in the mirror at these fabulous freeform locks. And I'm like, one side of my head is thicker than the other side of my head. As you can see, these locks on this side come in thicker than on this side. Now the, the only reason this is so is because I've learned a very valuable lesson in growing dreadlocks and that's to keep my hands out of my head. I don't play around with my locks. I don't scratch and move around too vigorously at the roots. I want to hold on to any strands of hair trying to connect with its neighboring dreadlock. I want to keep those webbings that I notice and not pull any of them apart. And this only tends to happen if I'm not conscious on how I'm washing my scalp because I don't really have an issue with uh, temptations and holding uh, and touching my head or playing with my locks a whole lot. But if I, if I end up washing my hair too vigorously or drying it too vigorously, this is pretty much the only time when my webbings have an opportunity to break. And I don't want that to happen. I want my hair to, to congo up naturally. So I've been really embracing my locks um, wanting to do that lately. And someone even asked me in the comments pretty recently, uh, you know, not locks, does your hair does your hair still congo up after all these years? And the answer is yes. My hair is constantly wanting to congo up despite the length or the duration of this dreadlock journey. I guess I could show you kind of what I'm talking about here. And I have some webbing happening on the top of my head on the right side pretty much uh, can you see it this one is is congled up with this one right here it's hard to see it but those two are coming together this one right here on the back of my head is starting to web up. That's the strand of hair right there. That's starting to web up with its neighboring lock over here. You know, move this out of the way. Which is also congoing up with this one right here. Right there, you can see it. And I do my best, and this one, <laughs> this one is congoing up with the lock beside that. So it's like my locks are always wanting to be bigger and stronger and it's good to embrace this part of the dreadlock journey keeping those roots strong because if you take a look outside and just gaze at some trees for a minute you can begin to understand how we are how our hair grows very similar to that of a tree whether you're looking at the branches and the trunk or you're envisioning the tree's roots beneath its surface. Both of them are pretty symbolic in the dreadlock journey.